great prices wasn't my size I know people that could use it but I used to would take a picture of it and send it to them but they never went to get it so I didn't even do any of that today but it I did find some really nice stuff uh, I got Brindley her Valentine's gift and I found a pair of shoes for five dollars for me for the summer some leopard uh, tennis shoes like I needed another pair of leopard I, I, I don't even know how many pairs I have in my closet not as many as I used to because I did get rid of some of them when I moved I loaded my SUV up twice and took it to Goodwill and my niece loaded her car up at least twice and then another niece came and got some stuff and I give a whole truck load of things to one of my neighbors that uh, does trades day stuff they go on the weekend and sell stuff and uh, I still have a storage building with a lot of stuff in it and I'm just waiting for a good weekend because every weekend we have bad weather except the other weekend when we last weekend and the weekend before when we worked at my place and that's why we worked at my place because the weather was actually good for a change but it it'll be beautiful all week and on Friday um, it rains and the wind starts blowing and the northers come in but there'll be a good weekend y'all there'll be a good weekend I'll catch it in a few weeks um, and if nothing else we have here in uh, May first weekend in May it's called a 21 sale and y'all have to look that up online google it I don't know 100 100 something miles something like that I don't even know of garage sales on highway 21 and that's the highway I live on and uh, I just put signs at the end of my oil road and people just travel that road y'all from everywhere um, from out of the Houston area Conroe area looking for garage sales it, it's amazing last time I did that the closest town to me I ask everybody where are you from and the closest town to me was Wales which is not that far away uh, but everybody came out of the city it was crazy and I set up about lunch on Friday and usually by lunch on Saturday I have to close down because I'm sold out or I'm, I'm so low of stuff that it ain't even worth sitting there so I don't know if I don't catch a weekend between now and May I'll definitely try to plan on a couple of years ago I was gonna do that and COVID came and and nobody had it because of COVID and I haven't done one since the last few years but I have done that 21 sale several times and it is always very successful I sell a lot of stuff at that but I found a lot of name brand stuff uh, I found a really nice pair of Sperry's that I would have wore I have a pair uh, and if I could find another pair like the ones I have I'd buy another pair just like them because I've had this pair probably I don't know y'all six or seven years and uh, they are the best shoes, the most comfortable shoes I have. Uh, and I think back then I probably give about $50 for them, but I'm gonna tell y'all, I've got my $50 worth out of them. They're my go-to if I'm gonna be walking a lot, shopping or something on my feet a lot. They're, they're definitely my go-to shoes, super comfortable. They're just little boat shoes um, that you slide on, but they are so comfortable. I think, I'm not sure, but I think I got them at the shoe department. If 
if I'm not mistaken. It's been so long ago. That they're just white, white, solid white, and they're starting to look worn. And uh, I wouldn't mind having a new pair, but I haven't seen any like them lately. But we're just taking the back road home from doing my errands this afternoon. And I checked my camera, and Brinley, bless her heart, she's still sitting in the chair waiting for me. That baby don't sleep. She just waits for her mama to come home. But it is a beautiful day. I'm gonna, uh, I got uh, some potting soil and I'm gonna go home and finish my raised vegetable bed so I can plant my potatoes soon. I set the, be the bed up in the fall of last year and started putting the soil in it and then the weather started getting bad and uh, there wasn't any hurry in finishing it because I knew it was fixing to be winter. So uh, I had a gift card to Lowe's and I went and got soil and I went to the feed store and I got chicken feed to keep my girls happy since they're laying eggs again. And I have a man, y'all, that's actually supposed to be coming today. He didn't tell me what time I guess if he came to the house and I wasn't there, he'll call me. He may not be coming till later, but uh, I think he retired. He used to come after work. But uh, he called me yesterday and I told him I would hold his eggs through today. And if he didn't come, I was going to sell them to somebody else. Because, y'all, I have a waiting list. If anybody wants eggs, if they want to get on the waiting list, if you're local, I'll save them for you. And everybody on my list understands that they wait their turn. Um, now, when the chickens start laying more, you know, I'll be able to get them out to everybody quicker. But I try to keep everybody happy. And, and coming back, I don't just sell them to one person. I, I share. Because I have a couple of people that you just would want me to just save them all for them. And I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to divide them up. So if anybody wants to get on my list that's local, I'll put your name on the list. And uh, I just go down the list, y'all. Lady, I would, uh, I'm going to slow down for you because I can't get over. There's a car in the left lane, y'all. I would get over and uh, be courteous and let that, let that lady out. But I slowed down so she could get out. I try to drive with the manners, y'all. I know y'all get sick of me saying y'all, but uh, that's just how it is, y'all. That's just how I talk. And I see my daughter-in-law's texting me, but I will answer her when I get home. There ain't no telling what she's going to tell me. I did ask her some questions. She may be answering my... Uh, she may be answering my questions. I text her. I was asking her about uh, some uh, products. And she stays up on all that stuff. Y'all, I just, since I, I don't work with a group of girls and, uh, you know, you would hear their clients talking about something, so you were, I was constantly learning about something new, but y'all, that, that just doesn't interest me anymore, like, you know, shopping and what's the new fad and the new trend, and it's just not my thing. I don't know that it ever really was, honestly, um. Uh, I think I just knew it because of, you know, my job and where I was every day and the people I was around, you know, because, uh, you know, when I did hair all day, eight, ten hours a day, I mean, I'd see a lot of customers. And then at one time, I worked with 15 stylists, and then they all had that many customers. And y'all, you learn and hear a lot when you're around that many people. And of course, that, that's all they did all day long was talk. You know, there wasn't nothing else to do. You did hair and you talked all day. 
but um, I kind of miss it some. Um, but I, I don't, I don't miss that a lot. I, I don't. I like where I'm at right now. I'm enjoying where I'm at. It was time. Um, it used to kind of make me nervous and stress me out, you know, about not working like that. But, but it's good, y'all. Uh, I'm. I think I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Doing what I'm supposed to do. And uh, I go to sleep with a restful mind, and I wake up. I wake up at peace. So, you know, I mean, come on, what more could you ask for? You know, even material things. Uh, if you didn't have that, you'd, you'd, you'd be in bad shape. You'd be in a bad place. And, uh, you know, honestly, the, the poorest I've ever been in my life, the less I've ever had, and the worst house I've ever lived, lived in, was probably the happiest time in my life besides right now. And that, that's, a, that's a true story. But we're getting close to my house, so I'm going to end the video because i got to unload all this feed and 50-pound bags of feed, y'all. I can still take them out to the shed. I'm going to fill it tomorrow, but, you know, that's okay. I can still do it. I think it's 65. I think that's saying a lot to lift a 50-pound bag of feed and be able to tote it to the barn. But you know what? If I had quit doing that, I probably wouldn't be able to do that. Now y'all think about that. That's why people, that's why people lose uh, and get down because they stop doing because of aches and pains. And I never have stopped. I push through it all. I push through all of it. But uh, y'all be blessed and don't forget to say your prayers and thanks for riding along. And I'm gonna see y'all in the next video.